All right, it's the start of the fourth quarter. Let's see if Danny can get back in it. Danny, take Murray, call for that Jokic screen, bam, bam. Get that movement going. Let's see if he listens to his coach, huh? Coaches. Good shot. There it nice. is, Danny. Yeah, I'd say right now, Danny is. And if your team is starting out slower than anticipated, how do you prevent frustration from setting in, Grant? That's a tough one. I mean, the trick is to try to stay even keel. It's such a long season. You're going to have highs and lows. Just treat this like any. Substitution on the court. Pass to Tillman. Jones with the block. Okay, hey, outside. Here's the kid. The three. And the three-pointer goes. And the endorsement deals keep coming in for MP. Latest news is he'll be the face of Mobile One for their next marketing push. And that's a smart move by Mobile One. They can see that MP stock is starting to take off, and they got in early. Pass to Abaji. Now here's Gay. Fires from the line. Count that one. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. You have to think at this point the winner will be the one to settle in on defense. Back to Moran. Jones with the block. Here's the kid. Defended by Jones. from deep. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. No, when you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Moran, pass to Jones. Here's Aldama, defended by Gay. From deep, Moran. Jones grabs the board. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave over. What is Their it? ball movement on this run has been ball. tremendous. It's really? led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Back to Moran to halt the run. Good on the shot. John. Moran's got nine. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooting. Pass to Abaji. make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. Here's Moran. 37 points his last time out. Outside Jones. Tillman, high post, working on Jones. And that one's John good. Morant. A point guard with length. Morant can do a little bit more than just handle himself inside. Every night, John Morant has a hard job to do. He draws the opponent's toughest defender in each game they play. That's how talented of a scorer he is. Here's Gay. Oh, he missed it. Making him one for two now. Nice contest. A high level of energy. That's how you play defense. Kept alive. Goes back up. Abaji with a rebound. Utah has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Well, you talk about the D Moran has to face. Yet he finds a way to get the best of most of those matchups. He's got a very advanced offensive skill set. He can score off the bounce. He can spot up. Depending on who's guarding him, John can adapt 
He's got 13. It's been all about Ja tonight. He can score in so many different ways. Pass to the kid. Jacks up a three. Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. Part of MP's appeal when he was drafted was his potential to be a leader. A role his team hopes he'll grow into. Yeah, you heard that about him back in college. That the locker room looked to him. I could definitely see that translating to the league over time. Here's Jones. Tries again. Utah with the rebound. Bashes the bucket play like you expect him to make. It's tough when you miss that. And there's the basket. And the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. One to the line for one. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Utah. So both teams changing it up here. A minute nine left in the opening quarter. Outside Jones. Now here's Moran. He's got 13. Pass to Tillman. Three on the clock. From about 16. Rebounded by Gay. Utah's gone four of seven from three-point range here in the first. Here's the kid. Last game, an incredible scoring display for him. Gay against Clark. Fades and shoots. Yep, that one's good. Gay's got his second basket of the night. And defensively, you got to make him work harder. That's just too easy. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Outside Moran. In the run. That one no good. And that's out of bounds. Last touch by Gay. That pass wandered off target. Can't lose focus on the little bitty things. A remarkable defensive play. The replay showing once again the tenacity on that end. Showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the And so it's Utah. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. We'll be back in a moment. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck. Plenty of time left in this game. And take a look at the Jazz performance here, guys. What do you think? Well, it's simple. I mean, they started off strong. And they've been hot from beyond the arc since the get-go. And as long as the threes are dropping, you've got to keep launching them. And for Memphis, Jackson out there with Brandon Clark. Then there's Tyus Jones. Then it's Luke Kennard. Utah's gone 5 of 8 from outside the three-point line on this one. And for Utah... Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. good that time and it's Utah the other way and you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight he drops yet another dive just facilitating this offense like a maestro they need something good to happen here yeah they've gone way too long without a score there's Jackson with the three and again Memphis no good he didn't make them pay for that weak defense but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots when it comes to the Grizzlies, a lot of this season is about erasing the memory of their playoff loss last year. It was a disappointing end to their season. He's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. Timeout called the Grizzlies. 
But with Memphis's 2021-2022 season, it still this has to be considered a success, down. right? Yeah, I think it was a successful season. But as a whole, this young team, they won their division. But the hopes were so much higher going into the postseason than just the second round. Olenix checked in for Utah. Adams, the pass to Brooks. Clarkson against Kennard. To the paint. Here's Jackson. And that one goes. Four for seven for him so far. He's really carrying the load. But no man could do it all by himself. Here's the kid. 19 points in the game. Pass to Clarkson. And again, it's Utah. Clarkson. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine. Getting any look they want. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. Jones. Utah with the rebound. Here in quarter two, we played a little over two and a half minutes now. And from the field after that one, three for four now. They've been the more poised team tonight, Number and the score 26. reflects that. And it's because they're not playing in a rush. They're just letting their shots come naturally within the flow of the offense. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. They're taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Pass to the kid. And let's go with a three. Score that basket. His eighth out of nine shots here today. today. The defense takes a chance, leaves him open at the arc, and he capitalizes. Here's Jones. It's tipped. Here's the kid, defended by Jones. Pass to Clarkson. Marking it outside. Five to shoot. Plenty of space. Nice spin off the left rim and in. marketing has got seven points in the game. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Brooks outside. Over marketing. And it's Brooks missing. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. A nice oh, shot by the kid. As the deep Number shots 26. continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. Jones, the pass to Brooks. And here's Jones. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. That's his Duke second off, foul uh, here pretty early in this one. He's got to be careful for the rest of this half. First so both team teams ball. making some changes here. Here's Clarkson. Give him eight points now. Pass to Horton Tucker. Clarkson outside. And it's John Morant with the foul. John That's his third foul first, so first far. Foul. They might start Second using him a foul. little bit more sparingly with three fouls already before the half. Down low. The kid. Clock at six. And the basket by yeah. Horton Tucker. Tucker. Horton Tucker's got his second basket of the game. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they got to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. And it's Morant missing. The Jazz shooting 65%. Their offense has been on another level. Clarkson outside. Gordon Tucker on the wing. And again, it's Utah with a three. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. 
Count it. Good. Jackson's, Jackson's got four Jr. points in the quarter. Uh, just like his pops, Jaron Jackson Jr. Yeah, look, this man, when he gets close to the hoop, it is pretty much automatic. You can't let that happen. Clarkson for three. Oh, that's the buzzer. Wow. I didn't think he was going to get it off in time. Wow. Talk about being poised under pressure. Big time shot from him there. And so it's the Utah Jazz with an almost surefire victory here. Up 32 at the end of the quarter and dominating. It hasn't taken them too many shots to get their points. They're winning with efficiency. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. Excited first half. We'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Substitution He's going with an court. almost entire new group here. Clark has checked in for Adams. Tillman comes in for Jackson. Aldama's checked in for Brooks. And it's Jones in for Kennard. On the court for Memphis. We've got Brandon Clark. John ja Moran is out there with Tyus Jones. Then it's Xavier Tillman. And it's Aldama in at the three. Pass to Jones. Let's it go for the baseline and nails it. Jones has got 12 points in the game. Utah's gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Here's Abaji. Back to Horton Tucker. Here's the kid. Defended by Jones. Here's the kid. Hits the three-pointer. He's got 28 now. His three-point mechanics have been flawless. Get him a clean look from deep, and he'll bury it. Outside Jones. Back to Moran. There's the triple. Oh, he connects. His seventh basket. He's 7 of 15 now. Oh, Moran sinks the answer with authority. He's feeling the competitive fire after that last trade. Here's Abaji. He's got six. Here's Jones. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Good feed the interior. Good things will happen. That's his first. All right, the Jazz making a change here. Gaze checked in. And pick and rolls never more prevalent in the league than they are right now. And there's always someone the defense has to leave open in those scenarios, Grant. Yeah, B.A., you know, it's, it's amazing. It's such a simple play, but it's so difficult to defend, especially with the shooting that we now see in the NBA and the great spacing on the floor. It's a play, as you said, every team uses and executes well in their offensive attack. Here's Morant. Rebounded by Gay. Gay's got four rebounds now. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Jones' his shot is good. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. Clark, left side. Pass to Jones. Jones with the block. Here's Horton Tucker, pounded by Moran. It's Horton Tucker with a drive. Ooh, a two-handed power slam! Oh, that was nasty! A two-hand mega slam! Man, I don't think anyone was going to stop him there. The Grizzlies shooting just 37% on the game. Outside Jones. Outside Moran. And he's going for the oop here. Oh, Clark with the slam. One of the most dynamic passers to enter this league in a while. Morant, this man is in full control of the offense. Okay, outside. Puts up a three. 
Oh, and again, it's the Jazz from deep. And man, is he in his own right now. Seems like he can't miss. Memphis has gone one of four here in the third from range. Outside Jones. Launches it. Six to shoot. Doesn't go for him. He knocked down a three in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep past the break. Here's Abaji. And there's another one for the Jazz. Okay. Since halftime, they have been efficient and effective, making Coach very happy. Well, I credit some of that to their communication out on the floor. They are attacking as a unit. Back to Moran. There's the three. No luck on that one. So Utah will take it the other way. A minute 29 left in the third quarter. Here's the kid, defended by Jones from 11 feet away. And there's another one for the Jazz. That's about as good of a look as you're going to get. Nice execution. And the Grizzlies shooting a less than average 27% in the third quarter. Yeah, you know, guys, he was selected all the way back in 2006. But Rudy Gay is still going. One of the final players from the draft class active in the league. And the basket by Abadji. Okay. Ten points for him. He's on a bit of a heater now. He hasn't missed one this quarter yet. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. And you know, B.A., even with the game well in control, he's going right at the rim. I love it. Right side, Jones. Cash money on the open jump Jones. shot. Jones has got six in the quarter. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Connects Ooh. again from distance. Number Barry's his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. to Tillman. Jones with the block. Pass to the kid. Lays it up and banks it in. He's got 36 points. You'd love to get the ball this close in every trip where you can almost just not miss. And here's Morant outside. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And so it's the Utah Jazz showing no mercy and just piling it on, looking. 61. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page, woo. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Pass to Aldama. Outside, Williams. Here's Conchar. And the NBA last season introducing a 100 camera system that allows for a video game like presentation with virtual angles. It's pretty cool. Video games used to chase the league. Now the league's kind of chasing the video games. Yeah, well, this is where the future is heading. It is so important to see all the different angles that you can now see a basketball game from. That's what makes it fun. That's what makes it exciting. And the NBA, they're doing the right thing. And I know scouting departments are using them as evaluation tools as well. Oh, they're always going to figure out a way to scout more and to evaluate more because it helps them when they're negotiating players' contracts. On the court for Memphis to start the fourth. They've got John Conchar, and it's Aldama in at the power forward position. And we just had to take one more look at that great drive. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone now. Pass to Conchar. Now here's Clark, defended by Jones. Clark, the pass to Williams. And another miss by Memphis. 
How about the unselfishness of this team? Yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambled. A nice Three shot ball. by the kid. This Number defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Pass to Conchar. Outside, Williams. Here's Conchar. Down to five on the shot clock. Can they get it? Here's Aldama. And he bangs it home with one hand. Oh, nothing soft about that. Was not going to be denied. Just took the dunk that was right in front of him. And that's his MOB physical. Get in position for the putback and throw it down. The defense got to know that's what he's looking to do. Pass to Jones. The baseline, Jay. And it's Utah yeah. scoring yeah. again. Their offense is looking like a well-oiled machine. Getting any look they want. Right about that. Seems like they haven't missed. Back to Williams. Here's Conchar. Man, there are a lot of insane records in the NBA history books. Which do you think are the most unbreakable, RJ? Well, I've got four off the top of my head. The 100 points by Wilt. I think LeBron James. Good! Another from three. And this is a historic shooting night for him. Tied for third now for most threes in a game. And the points keep piling up and the threes keep dropping in. He is red hot from downtown. Pass to Williams. The three is up. The shot misses. On offense, here's Utah. This run now up to 13-2. Here's the kid. Williams defending. The kid. And again for three. three. The parade of threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. And that latest triple ties him for second for most threes in a game. What a monster performance from deep it's been. Here's Conchar. Outside, Williams. Fires the three. Jones grabs the board. Jones has got eight rebounds in the game. Here's Abaji. Pass to Gay. And here's Jones. To the middle. And the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line to try to make it a three-point play. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Jazz. Well, we've seen coaches' challenges introduced to the NBA. I think they've been great. What's your take, RJ? Well, the league does a really good job of working with the replay center in the caucus, but there's one tweet. If you win your challenge, I feel like you should get a second. That's just in my opinion. Man, I agree 100%. Back to Williams. The three. Williams can't get that one to fall. Slow going for him this quarter. The defense putting up a good fight. Here's the kid. Go! Another from three. Number Splashes three. home another three, and he moves into second place with that make. Well, you got to think that every time he releases the ball from deep, it's going in. He just keeps raining down the threes. Pass to Eldama. To stop the drought, Jones with the block. And now the Jazz on the run in transition. A nice Number shot by the kid. Their offense has been unstoppable, just firing on all cylinders. They've had great execution, and what stands out is that they're just taking what the defense gives them, not forcing anything. Pass to Aldama. To the inside, Williams. And Williams punches it home. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. Here's Abaji. Again, Utah. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Now, here's Williams. Defense is right there. Inside. Oh, it's stolen by Gay. In transition, here come the Jazz. 
great job drawing the foul. It almost converted the shot as well. We're seeing players extend their careers. Often, diet plays a big role. How important was that in your day, and how important do you think that is now? It's so important. The food you put into your body, the rest, the recovery, uh, all of that plays a role in extending your career and having great longevity along the way. Here's Conchar. Six on the shot clock. Fires it. The rebound by the Jazz. There's the kid. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Their success from mid-range has really set them apart today. Outside, Williams. And the basket by Aldama. Saw the angles and led him right to the hoop with that pass. Boy, this could snowball if they continue to put up points. I can't say enough about their performance. Pass to Abaji. Here's the kid. From the elbow. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. The assist. And despite the oh, defender's oh, length, it goes feet. right up from the mid-range. Hey, when you trust your shot like he does, it doesn't matter how much size you're giving up. He feels the mid-range in his territory. And last season, new trophies unveiled for the conference finals. Honoring Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, Bob Cousy, Oscar Robertson. I love bringing up these names again. I agree, B.A. I mean, these are legends. These were those that laid the foundation for this league to be successful. So the idea of adding a little hardware and putting their names on it, I couldn't think of anything better. Pass to Jones. Here's the kid. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger when it plays like that. All right, the Jazz Seven, making a change here. Junior, one, Toscano. Now Williams. To the inside. Pass to Conchar. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. And the play-in tournament has been a success. But some debate about whether the stats should count towards postseason stats. Granite kind of falls in the abyss. How do you think we should reconcile? Well, B.A., first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high-pressure elimination games. And, yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play-in tournament thus far. So I I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. Jones, the pass to Williams. Here's Conchar. It's blocked! And now the Taz on the run in transition. And the lob disrupted, not to be. It's an even three-on-three -three break. Here's Williams. Carey grabs a miss. And with his team trying to trim this margin, his struggles this quarter, well, they're not helping them. Uh, shot by Toscano. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. Well, the Grizzlies shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. Back to Jones. Here's Aldama. And he was Jack fouled ball. while in the act of Bullard. shooting, so he'll Bullard. take two free throws. Second personal and we've ball. heard the cautionary Second tales in the past. Ball. Does it seem like players today are getting Jimmy better Bullard. financial advice, in your opinion, Grant, to make their money last? Yeah, B.A., I think they're getting better financial advice, but I also think that the times that we're in, I think there's more awareness. Players understand the pitfalls or potential Number setbacks. Uh, the social media, digital age, all the information's there. So players today, yes, they're making more money, and I actually think they're doing a better job of protecting and saving their money, too. Outside, Williams. 
Back to Conchar. Shot clock at six. Shoots off the step back. The shot comes out. The Jazz go the other way with it. Pass to the kid. Back to Gay. Using his post moves to get the two points. Gay's got four points now in the quarter. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Defended by Gay. Gay with the defensive effort. A perfect example of how to protect the rim. This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent points. And the shot goes in. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Jazz. Boy, this was one physical game, guys. <laughs> they obviously felt that was an advantage of theirs coming in. And they were able to be relentless inside as a result. And this will give them their seventh win of the year. Yeah, this is far from the last word in the season series. Still three more meetings between them and plenty of motivation to square things up. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for the kid. Number so impressed with his performance today. He was confident, he was composed, and the defense just didn't know how to adjust. Floats one up. Jones misses. They're looking to extend this run some more. Yeah, they're operating very efficiently at the moment. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the fourth. Here's the kid. A shot from the high post. And again, it's Utah. Hey guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. On the wing, Conchar. That shot off the mark. And so it's Utah easily grabbing this one. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense in a loaded offensive effort. And they were just dominant out there. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Brian Anderson. Thanking you for tuning in. So long, everyone. Hey, congrats on the win. Now, it looked like you were in attack mode from the outset tonight. What made you so aggressive out there? I'm just trying to win. Coach told me before the game to stay aggressive. Look for my own shots, try to establish myself on offense. You know, that's not usually my priority, but I knew that if I did, the rest of the game would come. So does that mean you're looking to shoulder more of the offensive load going forward? Man, <laughs> listen, man, I'm willing to do whatever the team needs. We have a lot of guys who can score on this team. I'm just trying to win. I don't mind stepping up and taking major shots if they're there, though. <sighs> Great stuff. Congrats on the win. MP, thanks for stopping by. Come on, man, I always got time for you, Fred. Oh. <laughs> hey, listen, I want to say thank you to you and the team for the tremendous job you're doing connecting with the fan base. On behalf of the entire organization. Oh, I would we... not say the entire organization. Right. Well, it sounds like you're keeping them happy too, clearing your on-court hurdles. I want to call them on-court hurdles. That's the fun stuff, man. And oh, your stuff is fun too, but kind of in a, you know, embarrassing, yet humbling, uh -huh. but fun kind of way still, wow. you know, kind of that charm that's got your <laughs> likability rating up 11 points. Don't play me, man. 11 points? That's got to be some sort of record right there, it's man. It's very impressive what? in a short amount of time. Like I said, you're doing a tremendous job. I appreciate you, Fred.